I'm Jeannie, and I'm here from Jimmy Bean's Wool, and I wanted to teach you something new today. If any of you have ever watched any of my other instructional videos, I love to learn. I think that it's just wonderful. So I had done a video about carrying the floats on the from stockinette to the pearl back of your fair isle and we got questions about what if you have a pearl side and I'll explain that traditionally fair isle is knit in the round but there are pieces that are done in the straight and after I got that question Siobhan you just see oh. the camera <laughs> after I got that question we have a great team we have a lot of fun around here um, I, it dawned on me that I'm actually working on a piece that is done in pieces in the straight rather than in the round and so I grabbed that and I'm going to show you today how to work the floats in as you go on the pearl side of your work. Just in case you're curious, the piece that I'm doing is from Rowan Magazine 46 and yeah, Siobhan's going to show you a beautiful magazine. This, whoops, I had it. Oh, sometimes I think I'm ready and then... I get on camera and I get so confused. It is this gorgeous Shetland sweater. Beautiful Fair Isle piece. The yarn that I'm using is the Felted Tweed Erin by Rowan. Really wonderful yarn. I also have the yarn at home to do my husband's identical sweater. And as Siobhan reminded me, this is a piece I've been working on for a little while that's kind of been hibernating. But now that you've got me getting it out, we'll get going on it. So let's show you how to carry the floats on the pearl side of your work. So here's my piece. Traditionally, Fair Isle only uses two colors in any given row. And that is the, how it works with this piece. And I'll get this back in the frame here. So what we're going to do here today, if I can fiddle and get ready, is we're just basically going to purl a couple of stitches and when you want to catch your floats in your work is when you have long stitch sections okay so some stitch patterns I never let my floats go more than four or five stitches at the very most in the length and you can kind of see back here that I've been catching the floats on this piece and it looks nice I won't stick my hand through it and catch those um, floats as I'm putting the sweater on which is very nice and it makes for a cleaner piece of work so here I've purled three stitches so let's assume it's time for me to catch my first float okay because this yarn that I'm carrying on my left hand is going to be my next color I'm working with so I'm working primarily with this lighter tan oatmeal color and all I'm gonna do is pull that yarn up to the front here of my work up over the top of my stitch like this and purl over the top of it not taking I don't want to make this part of my stitch that purple thread I want to leave that as a separate stitch, a separate thread. Then, now I'm on the second stitch with the oatmeal color. If I just pull this purl stitch down, the purple purl stitch, and go like this, I have now caught this float. And Siobhan, I think we can get in there. You can kind of see it's a nice, neat, tidy little stitch. The oatmeal is the primary color, but the purple does not come... Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll keep it in the frame. The purple is not coming through. It's strictly these oatmeal stitches, and the purple is just caught in the back. So let me show you that one more time. And... Um, all you're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and purl three stitches now, like this, just regular purling. And now I do have my yarn here. There is, of course, you can do it dropping and picking up. I finally got, um, I've done enough fair isle, not tons, but enough that I finally got tired of doing that and I did teach myself how to carry the yarns in both hands. Um, so now we're going to catch this purple yarn. So all we want to do oh, is pull it up to the top of the work, over the top of the needle, just kind of in the back, take our oatmeal yarn and make our purl stitch. Then on this next stitch, whoops, sorry, Siobhan, we're going to bring that purple down, 
I'm just out of the way and make another purl stitch. And that's really basically all there is. So I'll catch the yarn one more time for you. So all you have to do is kind of go back and forth. And you can do it on every single stitch if you want. So I'm pulling the purple yarn out of the way, purling my regular stitch, purling, pur pulling the purple yarn down again, and purling it out of the way. Purling with the yarn up, purling with the yarn down. Whoops. And that's basically it. That's how you carry the floats along in your work on the purl side of any straight piece of fair isle. And it's really that simple. Play with it. Um, I suggest you do a little practice swatch to kind of get the hang of it. Um, bigger yarn is better. This uh, felted tween Aran. I think these are eight needles I'm using on this piece. I've got to get going back on it. Um, really fun. Color work is less intimidating than you might think. So give it a try. It's a lot of fun. There's really fun ways to eliminate your finishing on it. So thanks a lot. Have a great day and happy knitting. Bye! Thunder rumbles on this American summer night There's kids on the corner Stuck in a switchblade fight And the rock and roll bands Play for the girls on the beach